So by default, what happens is that the application behaves in a certain way. And if you want to change that, what you can do is you can work around with the system and user preferences inside of DaVinci Resolve. So to do that, you need to go around onto the DaVinci Resolve menu right here. And once you go around over here, you can click on preferences. So once you do that over here, you can see that you get some system preferences right here. If you were to go around onto the top, then here the first option is memory and GPU. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to limit the resolve memory uses right here to 12 GB. In my case, I got 16 gigs installed on my computer. So here you can see that it allows me to use 12 gigabytes right here. But if you want to go around and reduce this number, you can do that by using the slider right here, just like this. And depending on the fusion as well, you can see that you can also reduce the fusion memory cache right here, specifically right here, just like this. So here right now, you can see that it is allowing the GPU to be processed right here. So it says GPU processing mode, which is auto right now. So you can go around and choose um, a particular GPL processing as you want as well. If your graphic card supports, let's say something else, then you can go around and select that out right here. And in my case, it's CUDA itself. So I'm just going to keep it as auto. Over here, if you have multiple GPUs, then you can also go around and select it from over here or disable the GPU uses altogether as well. So once this is done, you can also go around onto media stores and see where all of the medias that you work with get stored out. So this is where you can go around and add in other locations over here as well if you want to and so forth. Over here, there's the decoding option, which uh, you, you can allow the GPU to uh, use, like let's say a black code. Blackmagic raw decode as well. You can use GPU for it, or you can use the other decode uh, decoders according to how you like from over here as well. If we were to go around onto video and audio settings, you can see that you can go around and choose a capture device as well. If you have um, uh, like different capture devices or any monitor devices right here, and you can also go around and work around with the audio input and output right here and select what you want from over here. So depending on what you want, you can change around everything. You can manage out all the video plugins that you may have in this section and audio plugins that you may have in this section right here. You can remove and add out more plugins as you want. You can go around onto the control panel right here and see different color grading options that you might want to choose and also see different audio console um, options uh, over here. If you were to go around onto general, then you can see that you can use like 10 bit precision and enable out different settings over here according to how you want. And you can also go around and set out loot color correction uh, locations as you want as well. If you were to go to internet accounts right here, then you can uh, go around and then sign in onto different uh, internet accounts that you may have to link it up with DaVinci. If you were to go to the advanced settings right here, you can access out more settings over here as well. If you were to go to user settings, then you get more like a UI setting right here. For example, you can change the language of the application according to how you like, and then enable and dif disable different things over here like delay viewer right here, and you can use gray background for the user interface and so forth. So you can try this out over here. If you were to go to project save and load, then you can see that right now it's a live save, meaning uh, if you work around, everything that you're doing is being saved. Uh, that is a live save. And if you, you can also go around and have project backup so that every 10 minutes it, it creates a backup of a file that you're working with right here and it'll be saving out that file onto this particular location. If you were to go to editing uh, option right here, then you can go around and work around with the start timing right here. Uh, by default, it's one right here, and you can see that there's smart bins that you can turn on as well, and other general settings. For example, there's the standard transition duration, which is one second. So if you want to go around and change it to two, then all of the transition that is applied by default uh, gets, uh, added in for two seconds. And then over here, you can also see that you can choose default fade-ins right here according to how you want. And here you can see that how the crossfade should act. If you were to go around onto color settings as well, there's different uh, settings that you can apply for the colors that may be there. Uh, there's different fair light settings that you can work around with. And here you can see that you can set the video monitor offset and everything else over here as well. 
there's the playback settings where you can hide the UI, um, UI overlays when uh, something is being played back. And then the performance mode you can set to automatic or manual right here. You can also go to uh, 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 control panels right here and set the panel sensitivity, uh, sensitivity of how much you uh, change out. Let's say as uh, you qualifier is 50, so you can change, uh, change this out right here to change out the sensitivity while you're actually uh, changing around the values right here. On the metadata side right here, you can go around and add in metadata presets right here and then add in different information over here just like this as well like environment like uh, good take right here and then you can go around and apply those metadata later on as well and that is how you can work around with the system and user preferences to let the application behave you want um, for DaVinci Resolve so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe